So food web is a representation of the interactions among all of the species in a biological community or an ecosystem and it tells us who eats who, so who are predator, who are prey, and it gives us an indication of the number of interactions in that system, how complicated and complex it is, and it shows us how energy flows through the system from the species that are sort of fixing the energy, so your plants that are photosynthesizing uh, raw energy to make sort of the chemical energy for other organisms and shows how it flows through the system all the way to sort of apex or top predators. One of the things that we'd like to understand is when you really stress an ecosystem, for example, during one of these episodes of mass extinction, let's say that asteroid just hit, landed somewhere in the Gulf of Mexico or the Yucatan Peninsula, it releases so much energy that it stresses ecosystems around the planet. And so you get this sort of collapsing, snowballing effect through the ecosystem. If you pull one thing out, it's going to send a ripple effect through the food web. And so you only need to hit one species directly to lose additional ones. And what we would like to know is, or understand, is what does that ripple effect look like? How robust might ecosystems be or food webs against particular kinds of disturbances and how vulnerable they are.